When I decided to add a siding to serve a hypothetical sand quarry on my railway, I didn't have to spend very long figuring out what sort of wagons I would construct to transport the sand from the quarry. The wooden hopper wagons which ran on the Snail Beach District Railways have attracted me ever since I first saw photos of them, and so all I had to figure out was how to construct a rake of them. In the days before 3D printing entered my life, my go-to wagon chassis of choice was the Heartland Loco Works mini-series, largely because at ten quid they were cheap. In addition, I had been given a dozen of them by my mate in Australia, and I had been wondering what to do with them. And so, after studying the photos and drawings of the Snail Beach wagons, the first job was to open up the chassis with my trusty razor saw. I hacked away as much as I could, without compromising the structural integrity of the chassis. Some of the wagon decks were planked, and so needed to be filled and smoothed off to give the impression of a wooden beamed framework. Metal corner brackets were simulated with 1.5mm thick plastic card, to which were glued 1mm diameter half round nail art gems to give the impression of coach bolt heads. Additional wooden beams were glued along and across the chassis. These were strips of 3mm PVC foam board, scribed with a razor saw blade to provide a wood grain effect. More styrene brackets were strategically added, together with nail art gem bolt heads. The parts needed for the hoppers were cut from 1.5mm thick styrene. Their dimensions are provided in a post on my blog. The link is in the video information section. The hoppers were then assembled using styrene solvent. One millimetre thick styrene corner brackets were added to the uppermost parts of the hoppers and also to the sloping angled sections. And strapping was added to the sides being folded and glued to the angled sections once the solvent had hardened off. One millimetre diameter half round nail art gem bolt heads were then painstakingly glued to the corner brackets and strapping, using photos of the wagons to ensure they were positioned correctly. The body and chassis were then sent to the paint shop and given a couple of coats of Halford's grey primer from a rattle can aerosol. It took me a while to figure out how to simulate the straps holding the body to the chassis, until I had an inspiration, and used black cable ties. This allowed for some fine adjustments to be made, to ensure the hoppers were correctly levelled. Backman 24.5mm wheel sets were installed, and metalwork was picked out with black acrylic paint. Removable loads of sand were then made using offcuts of ply and balsa for the framework, and then a layer of sand sprinkled over some shaped foam packaging. Brake gear was fashioned from strips of brass, which were then attached to the chassis with brass escutcheon pins. The wagons were then weathered in my time-honoured way of dousing the model in mucky acrylic paint and wiping most of it off again. The metalwork was given a few rusty daubs of brown and orange. The wagons were then coupled up and given a few test runs. Though I say it myself, I'm quite pleased with the end result. And here we see them being shunted into the quarry siding to be loaded up for another trip back up the line. <laughs>